the patient is 97 years old. So when would an ablation um, versus cardioversion um, take place? She's had a cardioversion for AFib okay. on medication, trying to stay controlled. Hypertension's worse. Okay. But I'm just wondering why, why we haven't explored the ablation or the electrical system of the heart further. I'm not sure. I haven't asked the doctor. So, so the question was about cardioversion. So cardioversion is a procedure where we shock the heart and get the heart back in rhythm. The thing about cardioversion is cardioversion is a short-term fix. It doesn't fix the electrical problem in the heart. It restores the normal rhythm, giving the medicines a chance to work. So when someone has atrial fibrillation, almost always we try to treat them with medicine first. And if they have trouble taking the medicine or if they have side effects to the medicine or if they have AFib despite being on the medicine, that's when we proceed to a cardiac ablation procedure. Now sometimes cardiac ablation procedure is not the right choice for the patient. Sometimes it's because of advanced age because when we have to go burn or freeze in the heart, the heart muscle is extremely thin in the parts that we burn. And that means the heart is 97 years of age. So we have to be extremely cautious about who we do that. Um, so we always uh, weigh the risk and benefits and decide whether it's the right thing. And rarely, sometimes we have to put in a pacemaker and then we can do a certain kind of ablation safely um, and not, you know, not worry about the bigger risk. Uh, so sometimes it's a combination. Sometimes it's a combination of medicines and ablation. Sometimes it's a combination of medicine and a pacemaker. Um, so you just have to have that discussion with the, with the physician and see what's the right thing.